This is the latest model from Creality 3D Printers, the Creality CR20. We already know how the Creality CR10 was and how it changed the low-cost 3D printer market. Today we will see the new improvements of this new model, make a small unbox, give it a test and give my final opinion. Also, I will make a quick compare between this new model and the Creality CR10 and also with the very low-cost Ender 3 model. But hey, before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. Also, thanks to all my patrons for the support. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. As usual, let's start with a very quick unbox since this is the least important thing for this review. I'm going to get out everything that you receive in the box. So this is all that we have. Two parts for the printer body, so assembling this printer should be very quick. We also have a spool with some white PLA filament as a gift and a box with cables, spool holder, screws, SD card and some tools. This is all that we have inside of the small box some tools together with a print removal, the metal spool holder, the main power cable, screws and nuts, the SD card and the warranty. Oh yeah, we also have a quick user manual with all the steps, instructions and settings. Oh, and the banana is just for scale. Ok, now that we have all the parts, it's time to assemble this printer. That is more than easy. All we have to do is to join together these two parts and add 4 screws on the bottom of the printer. Align the top part with these holes on the bottom case. Then you should take the M5 screws, turn the printer over and tie the screws. And that's it! With just 4 screws in these 4 holes, the printer is ready. It's now time to connect all the cables. And don't worry, each cable has a label so you can't get them wrong. Plug all the motors and the end stop connectors. The X axis end stop is hidden below this plastic case. Ok, so finally I place the spool holder with just 2 screws on top of the printer. Now the printer is ready for tests. I plug the main power cable and let's start it for the first time. And there you have it, the printer is alive. But wait, let's calibrate it. First thing first, the extruder carriage is moving a bit. But it has an eccentric nut, so rotate that till you see no more movement. Ok, so now the carriage is not moving anymore. Next step, let's calibrate the bed. I do that as always with a bit of paper. First, select auto home for all the axes using the control knob. Take the paper sheet, put it under the nozzle and rotate the bed plastic knob till the paper is slightly touching the nozzle. Next, do that for all the corners of the bed. So that's it, now the bed is leveled, so go to the menu and preheat PLA. Finally, let's insert the PLA filament and print a test file. I've placed a Benchy file on this SD card, so let's insert that into the SD card slot, go to the menu, select print from SD card and select that file. The printer starts printing and once again I'm more than happy with the first print. Look how easy it is to remove the print with this new type of fiberglass plate over the heated bed. Of course, the first print is a benchy file and the layers are perfect. With no extra tune, no other settings, this is the first print right out of the box, so that's quite nice. Now let's talk a bit about the things that I like about this printer and also the things I don't like. As for the specs, the printing size of this printer is 23 by 23 cm and the height of 30 cm. The body is made out of metal and it is very strong. It has a Bowden extruder that works very fine with PLA, ABS and also flexible filament since the Bowden tube is not that long. To control the printer we have an LCD and a rotating knob. It is quite easy to use. The power cable gets plugged on this side and we have an on and off switch to power on the printer. There is also a safety fuse aside of the switch. Ok, so first, the frame. It is more than compact. Even more than the Creality Ender 3. It is a very integrated design so we have no exposed elements. The power supply, the main board, all it is inside of the metal case and that makes this printer very safe to use. Having this compact shape, 
body made out of metal and also metal brackets, the prints will turn out better as well. Ok so next we have this new type of bed plate. It is made out of fiberglass and it is elastic. So we could bend it and remove the prints very easy. On the top it has a build tag material so the print will stick very well to the plate. I really like this new detail on this printer. Other thing that I like is the power resume option. It's very interesting to have this option. If your printer gets turned off while printing by any unfortunate mistake, when you power it up it will continue the print from the last position. When you plug it back you will get the continue printing message. Select yes and the printer will keep printing from the last point. That's a nice thing to have especially when printing big parts. You don't want to lose a 10 hour print just because there was a small power down or the cable got unplugged. Now the power supply for this version is a 24 volts one, so heating time will be faster for both the extruder and the heated bed. Also this bed is able to reach 100 degrees with no problems. So that's also nice to have especially when printing with ABS. This model of the Creality CR20 comes in two versions. One with the auto level and the other one with manual level. Like this one that I have where you use the plastic knobs to level the bed. Since the case is compact and made out of metal, the fans inside are not that loud. That's very important since for long prints usually the fan sound is getting annoying. The design of the entire case is also very nice with the LCD here on the side and the spool holder on the top of the printer, so the filament will go well into the extruder. The printer has rubber feet, so we will have less vibrations transferred to the working table. I also like the plastic bracket for the heated bed and the plastic big knobs to level it. We have just one lead screw on the back, but as in previous models that's more than enough. All the axes have metal brackets and V-shaped rollers, so the movement is very smooth and the prints have very good quality. Ok so a thing I don't like, well probably the price. I mean the quality of this printer is almost the same as the Ender 3, which is way cheaper. This Creality CR10 has a price tag of around 350 euros and is getting lower each day. If you really want a more compact frame, well this model should be your choice. Compared with the Ender 3 you will get the fiberglass heated bed plate, still have strong metal frame and perfect prints, it works with PLA, ABS, flexible and so on. It is safe to use, the high voltage parts are inside of the case and it's quieter than the other models. But I really think the price should be lower because this model is pretty much the same as the Ender 3. Please see my other review of the Ender 3 to know more about that printer. Well I think this is all for this review. There is not much more to say. Compared in size it is smaller than the CR10 and the same size as the Ender 3. I really like it and I could easily say it is a good printer. Just as a summary it is fast to assemble, just 5 minutes and you could start printing. Metal frame and compact design. Bowden extrusion system, 24 volts power supply and powerful heated bed with removable build tag plate. It has power resume option so you don't have to restart your prints when the printer gets turned off. The bed reaches high temperatures and you could use it with PLA, nylon, ABS, flexible filament and much more. It doesn't have an external MOSFET for the heated bed, but it is quite well cooled with fans inside of the metal case. But the most important is that it prints very well and I'm happy with the results. And that's pretty much everything about this printer. You have more details and photos with the results below on my webpage electronews.com and some compares between the CR10, the Ender 3 and the CR20. I hope that you've made a general idea of this 3D printer. You have links below if you want to buy it. If you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell for future videos. Also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. And remember that your help on Patreon means a lot for me and we'll keep these kind of videos going. So thank you very much for your support. So thanks again and see you later guys.